Welcome back. They were hoping to make history and a lot of cash. A Forks company is competing for a $10 million prize. Today, they put their rocket to the test. And the launch made a big splash. But as Q13 Fox News reporter John Yeager reports, it wasn't the kind they were hoping for. Good day for a launch? Yeah, it's a great day. But Philip Storm didn't get much sleep last night. This is a crucial test of his solid fuel booster rocket. The same fuel used on the shuttle, but this sure doesn't look like the shuttle. Design things to make it glamorous yet. We just design it to, to, for function. The goal? Launch this 23-foot tall rocket four miles up and retrieve it safely from the Pacific. At stake is the $10 million X Prize that will go to the first private company capable of launching a human being into space twice in a two-week period. A mannequin's inside today. Can you see him in there? Everything's done on a shoestring budget. Storm tells us the local fire chief brought this in case things get out of hand. Not only that, but their chief competitor going for the X Prize is none other than billionaire Paul Allen. Yeah, he's got, I mean, yeah, Paul Allen's funding Bert Rutan. He's got 20 or 25 million invested in the project. So, I mean, that's, that's a lot. We're definitely the underdog. Still, he has NASA experience and a drive to one day cash in on the space tourism market said to be worth millions. But all of that is just shooting for the stars unless this rocket works. And today, it didn't. Basically, the engine, uh, the propellant uh, wasn't manufactured properly. His fault, Storm says, and his tight budget meant he couldn't test it before today's launch. Back to the drawing board. On the Washington coast, John Yeager, Q13 Fox News. And by the way, the mannequin is just fine tonight. Storm hopes to test his rocket again sometime next month. Oh, okay.